Welcome to HeCast, the official podcast of He Changed It. My name is Mike Chisholm. I am extremely excited every time we do this. I'm a little more excited today. No offense to anybody who's ever been on the podcast before, oh. um, but oh, I'm excited because uh, we got Caleb Campbell. Caleb Campbell is a local uh, stand-up from the little piece of heaven that we call Kelowna, British Columbia. Um, and I'm a huge stand-up fan. I envy you in many, many, many ways, sir, because you are doing um, what Dreaming Mike would love to rip out of my chest and go and do. You've done stand-up. How long have you been doing stand-up for? Uh, since the very first time I started would be now like 13 years. 13 but I've, years. I've taken some huge breaks where I had to, you know, go work for the man. We've got this society now yeah. that... Um, the goalposts have kind of changed as to what's appropriate, what's not. Uh, certain people are saying certain things aren't appropriate. Other people are saying, no, they, yeah, they still real. are. And standups are really under fire. And then we have this pandemic show up. Well, and I wanted to get your perspective on some of these things. The so I'm glad thing you're for here. a guy like me is I have nothing to lose. So I can say whatever I want. What does that mean? What do you mean you got nothing to lose? Well, I mean, they can't take anything away. What are they right. going to cancel? I have my uh, own shitty podcast that they can't cancel. And I have my stand up gig. So I get, I could get those canceled. Sure. But I don't feel like I would. Right. Like right. I, you know, you get to meet the people who own the clubs or the producers at the clubs. Yep. And, you know, if they say this is off limits, you don't talk about those things. But almost nobody would say that. Right. Right. And it's as far as like the PC-ness of the whole world right yeah, now. Yeah. I feel like if you're honest, like people can just tell. Like I got some outrageous stories, right? That's kind of my <laughs> shtick. Yeah, you do. And people often come up to me like, are those true? And I'm like, yeah, they're true. But you know they're true. You can just sure. tell when someone's genuine. So if you can come, if you can say, you know, politically in incorrect things, be funny while you do it, and people know you're not an asshole. Right. It's fine, right? right. Like, And that's what the beauty of stand-up is. It's, you know, wherever the line is, going right up to it or just past it, mm -hmm. and then... And it doesn't have to be that, but it can be that. No, right? it doesn't have to be that. Like, but I got in some ways, jokes too. but it, yeah, it, it, and I get that. And there's a lot of clean comics out there. There's your Jerry Seinfelds and your, you know, and the, the brigade that he and Jay Leno kind of lead. Mm -hmm. I get that. But at the end of the day, there's also the other side where, in in many ways, comedians are the last gunslingers. Kind of. And, and in some ways, um, and and this pandemic. Or the first, yeah. If you go back to the first, right, like yep. pioneers of Lenny Bruce and yes. George Carlin getting yep. arrested and all that stuff. Absolutely. So the shit that they like. Put their lives on the line. I mean, that's a little dramatic, but like, no, man. maybe freedom of speech. They could have locked him up for a long time, George Carlin. And Absolutely. So yeah, I mean, we can, you can. The thing is, you can still say whatever. Right. You just have to be ready for the, the ramifications. Consequences. Yeah. And okay. if you're saying things that are malicious or like egregious, I mean, you have to answer for that. The way I deal with bad stuff happening is I make jokes about it. Isn't yes. this shitty? It's like the world's ending. Ha ha ha. But how many times as men do we do that? Do I we try and, 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 you know, we went through a really shitty situation and we get through the, 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 the shock of it maybe. Yeah. And then what do we try and do? We make light of it. We make oh, jokes dude, when, about it. We try and that's, yeah. that's, I think that's hardwired into us. Oh yeah. Some dude, of us when anyway. I work construction, like framing or yeah. the oil rigs, yep. all we do, like mine, mostly men at those. Yeah. Uh, we're yeah, just busting yeah. balls. Like you pussy, like not wearing, like. None of that stuff's very helpful, I don't think. But <laughs> as for, maybe for your mental health, but it's helpful to get through the day. Yeah. Like the more miserable it was, the better time I had. Like when things are bad, you make jokes about it. Sure. Right. I mean, that's not everybody's coping mechanism, but that's what a comedian would say, I guess. You know, and the fact you use that word coping mechanism, so many people do use humor as as a, a coping mechanism. And in many ways, it's under attack, similar to the, how um, comedy was under attack with George Carlin back in the day. Like, it, it's so funny how the pendulum has swung. Um, I'm 44, yeah. so I got a few years on you, but um, I remember back when I was in, and I, I think, I don't know if I've talked about this on the podcast or not, certainly off camera, where uh, back in the day, like when I was growing up, free speech was under attack, not because of comedians so much. They were kind of given the, the pass, except for maybe Andrew Dice Clay yeah. or real extreme examples, but it was music. Yeah. And it was the, the rap and the metal there, guys. Absolutely. And yeah. it was, and it was the explicit content. That's where the that Satan came from. Worshippers. Yes. Yeah. And it was the right. Yeah. It was the right. It was the conservatives. It was the, uh, you know, the Bible thumpers for lack of a yeah. better term, or it was, it was the, re the religious right or the right that was 
um, angry that's about actually, the that's content. An point. But now it's the left. It's the left. It's the pendulum has swung so far that the left is 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 so concerned it's, about it's crazy. People. Yeah, the PC culture, and it's the left that's doing they're it. And the so right is kind of just not. They're exclusive. That's exactly right. They're like you need to include everybody by not saying bad about anybody ever. It's so ironic. How do we even live in your world? Right. It's impossible. That's exactly right. Yeah. This idea of cancel culture, which is hatred towards humans. It's it's in my opinion. Yeah. It's 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 ridiculous um, that you I can can't say speak something. to it intelligently because <laughs> I have like I'm not famous enough to get canceled, so I don't really have like I said before like I don't feel like it's a risk for me to say anything outrageous. Like if you hear my sure. my podcast, it's so over the top. Anyway, sorry I interrupted That's you. Okay. Went to, you went to Sweden. That's okay. I mean. You know, we had a great time. We ate lots of food. Yeah. You asked me before we turned the mics on if I ever did stand up in Sweden. Yes. And this is a uh, okay. So I did do stand up the first time I went to Sweden. We, uh, I actually went to go meet my buddy. So my buddy chased a girl over there, and I went to go visit him. Yep. And he worked at a casino, but we we, we were both doing stand up at that time. So I flew in at like eleven at night. No, 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 no. It must have been like nine at night because we did a show. Anyways, okay. I flew in at night yep. and he had to go to work. So I get off the train and I go straight to this bar. So I got all my luggage and everything. And uh, we go downstairs into like the bars there. They're kind of uh, self-serve. Yep. They don't have servers. So there's like just the bar in the middle, the bar upstairs. And then everybody goes downstairs. All right. And this like whole, pour yourself one. Here's a big glass. No, so no. It, one, I mean, just... they have bartenders. Okay, okay. They don't come to your table. Gotcha. Gotcha. So this, this show, there's maybe 50 people there. Yeah. Um, the whole show is in Swedish. I mean, I watched it. I feel everybody was having a good time. Right. You know, you get the cadence and the mannerisms and everybody laughs at the appropriate places. Okay. So Timing thought, is similar. Yeah. I thought this will yeah. be, this will be okay. So, uh, I, I, there's no stage. I'm like the shortest guy in all of Sweden. Right. They, they legit they live <laughs> yeah. up to the legend of all being sure. six five blonde yeah. yeah like hot dudes which so, makes you the alternative which is nice <laughs> yeah, the short <laughs> the short dark troll <laughs> so i go they're like we'll put you on last because you're from canada i was yeah. like cool so they they introduce me i go on i'm like hey i make a couple jokes about being canadian not american you know just run of the mill shit and like Within 30 seconds, this like massive Viking man comes stumbling, like bursts in the door. He's got a duffel bag full of alcohol, like a bottle of whiskey and a bottle of vodka. Okay. And he comes down in the front and yells something in Swedish. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> who are you? I said, I'm a tourist, man. I don't speak your language. And he's like, fuck your mother. Wow. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and so I, you know, I got nothing to lose. You're right. They all speak English in Sweden. <laughs> So I'm like, hey, give me a drink of that. So I take some of his whiskey. He's like, what the hell? And I was like, you know, and the crowd is laughing, right? Okay, so you're getting the crowd on your so, side a yeah, little bit. So okay, good. I'm doing okay, but I'm actually kind of nervous for my safety. They don't have security guards. Well, they do have security guards. They don't have like bar bouncers. Right. They have city guards, like Skyrim guards. They're kind of like these guys that walk around in vests. They are like, you know, uniforms. And this guy's mm -hmm. sitting at the door. I'm like, you're just going to let this guy bring alcohol in here? And blah. and so I'm kind of, I'm still trying to be a performer. Sure. And the crowd is laughing. But I'm also like kind of intimidated by this guy now yelling. Mm -hmm. him, and he, boom, headbutts me in the face. And I'm like, what the fuck? The crowd is dying. And I'm like, what the <laughs> hell is happening? <laughs> I'm getting this. And I'm like, help. <laughs> like. Please help. And the guy sees that I'm Look, nervous. man, it's always funny until it happens to them. <laughs> so I found, I you know, I stammered through the next 15 minutes of my show. Wow. Uh, I get off stage. I'm like, what the hell was that? They all thought, you don't know that guy? We thought that was part of your act. You're kidding <laughs> yeah, me. They all thought, like, he looks really scared. And I was like, actually <laughs> scared. The Canadian guy comes up and starts performing. And his partner comes yeah, in two that's minutes what they later. Thought. And then we had this whole thing, like, <laughs> planned out. And they were like, yeah, you looked really scared. I'm like, I was really scared. <laughs> you are a really entertaining guy. Oh, thanks, man. I, I hope that uh, this is not the last time we have you on. Oh, I'm definitely um, not. Because we want to, like, at Heat Change, we want to talk about all the things that are going on. And I think stand-up comedians, not just in this these times, but in all times, many times stand-up comedians are kind of a barometer for what's going on out there from yeah. a social perspective. And uh, you certainly are one of those. Thanks. Thank you for taking time out of your day to be Thanks part of this, man. Thanks for having me, man. Anytime. This is awesome. Um, like I said, it was going to go by real fast. This is another episode of HeCast. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. He changed it is uh, still in beta, but it's going to be coming out. I'm hearing rumors that in the next week or two, we might even be in the... Uh, 
in the stores uh, as an actual uh, in the app stores as a downloadable like shiny brand new ready to go app. So thank you for all those who are um, supporting. Go to hechangedit.com if you want any information. My name is Mike Chisholm. Uh, this is HeCast, the He Changed It official podcast. Cheers.